This year, Reframing Justice centered the stories of people currently incarcerated in our legislative advocacy efforts. People inside sent us their stories and calls for change. These are their stories. We value healing and restoration as the means to safer communities. The problem is that socially, we remain uncomfortable talking about mental health issues. Nationally, almost three quarters of people incarcerated with mental health problems reported co-occurring substance dependence and women have higher rates of mental disorders. The following story from Karen is one such example. My name is Karen. I am severely mentally ill. I was sentenced to 25 years flat time with no help for my mental health. Before I was arrested, I called the emergency hotline. I was under heavy antipsychotic meds and feeling suicidal. I called to report a break-in at my apartment. I was holding a knife when I opened the door to the cops because I was scared. The reporting officer said I came at him with the knife, and so he shot me. I woke up in the hospital confused. I didn't know what happened. The surgeon told me I was shot. Upon my discharge, I was charged and booked on aggravated assault on a police officer, misconduct involving weapons, and possession of narcotics in my blood. I don't have a good disciplinary record. I have a lot of behavioral problems. I'm on a max yard with high custody points. I stay in the mental health unit where there are less people. I want to get my GED, but I'm not allowed to attend classes because of my sentence. It's the same for substance abuse counseling and other programs. I need help, but I can't get it. Is there any hope for me? What Karen and others like her need is mental health intervention and support. Prisons are not organized to provide the care and support that someone like Karen needs. Prisons are not mental health treatment facilities. We must stop using them as such. Please pass meaningful sentencing reform and stop using prisons as a warehouse for the mentally ill. <laughs>